Thank you. A firefighters had to scramble last night when lightning became too dangerous while they were out there fighting a fire in Jefferson County. Yeah, I showed it to you live last night at 9 o'clock. The fire started by a lightning strike very near where the quarry fire is already burning. Fox 31's Vicente Arenas joining us now with how those firefighters were able to quickly stop the fire and keep themselves safe. Vicente. Jeremy, quite a situation that we're going through after you showed our viewers that video last night. We wanted to take them back to the scene today, to the hog back here. This is where that lightning struck and started that fire so close to, which at that time was the quarry fire, and it was still a threat. Nerves rattled in Jefferson County near the Ken Carroll Valley, where a lightning strike started a ring of fire. West Metro firefighters, the first on the scene around 8.15 last night. Assistant Chief John Grothy, there too. What was going through your mind when you were driving up to this area? Not let it become a problem. But then there was more lightning as nearly 30 firefighters began to douse the flames. So we called for an evacuation, or not an evacuation, but for the crews to shelter in place due to the weather. Firefighters headed for the trucks to stay safe, not knowing where lightning would strike next. One of the big problems firefighters were facing when they arrived here is that they weren't sure how far away the lightning was striking. We spoke to one of those firefighters by phone. But is it going to then go to three miles or is it then going to go to one mile? West Metro stopped the fire at one third of an acre. We came out here to look at the fire thing. People who live nearby were at the site today, which happens to be near the quarry fire. Allison Varvotis grew concerned when she first saw it. Well, I recognize where that is. That's extremely close. It was a close call. I'm just like, not again. With it being the second fire within a week, pretty much, with yeah. the quarry fire. Today, a ranger kept an eye on the burned area, watching for hot spots. And the good news is there is some rain falling on that area now, so that's very helpful. The National Weather Service says that every year in Colorado, two people are killed, another dozen injured. The good news here is that no West Metro firefighters were hurt last night. Reporting live from Jefferson County, Vicente Arenas, Fox 31. And Vicente, as you said, there is